What's up, family? Peace and blessings, man. Peace and blessings. This video I'm about to show you guys is very eye-opening. It's 100% proof that we're living in the last days. And it's very, very disturbing. So I'm going to let you guys know before you watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't make it pass. Uh, it just reminds me of a Bible verse where it says that Babylon has became the house of devils. Okay, uh, Demons have completely taken over America. Uh, I mean, it's just everywhere. You know, it's every, we all know Babylon is America. Everyone knows that. And we can clearly see that that Bible verse is happening today. I mean, people saying they're on demon time, like people, it's like, it's cool to be a demon. It's cool to be a devil. So the darkness outnumbers those who have the light. It's only a chosen few, but look at what they're doing to these children, man. The Bible even says to train up a child when they're young. So when they grow older, they won't depart from it. And we're clearly seeing that Satan is training up these children to be reprobates, to be a reprobate in mind. Okay, so watch this clip, man. So this is living proof that we're living in Sodom and Gomorrah, modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. And I, I always wondered like, how, how did they allow all this wickedness to happen? Now I see why it's all through the program. And the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. It even says, like I said earlier, that train up a child when they're young and then when they grow older, they won't depart from it. So this, what we're seeing right now was happening before us. They do the same thing to us. And if this is happening in your city, when you have the drag queens doing this to children, we have to start pulling up. We have to, we have to start holding people accountable. Like this happened in my city, I'm pulling up. I'm talking to these parents. I'm talking to the drag queens. Listen, if you guys want to do the drag queen sub dance, twerk, that's you. But doing it around children, why, why is it children out of all the audience you could target? Why are they targeting children, guys? Because Satan wants to get the children because they're the, they're the future. Okay, so if the future is going to accept this type of stuff, man, I'm telling you, wickedness is going to be at an all-time high. It's going to be reprobates everywhere, bro. So we have to start holding people accountable. This is I don't I don't know where this is at. Someone just shared me this video on Twitter, but I best believe, guys, if this is in my city, I'm pulling up, bro, because this is sad. This is Sodom and Gomorrah. It's only going to get worse. I hate to tell you all that that it's only going to get worse, but it's true. Uh, sin is going to continue increasing. Demons are going to continue increasing. Uh, people are going to be will willfully given over to, you know, a reprobated mind. You know, the Bible says that God has gave them over to a reprobated mind. They didn't give themselves over. God gave themselves over because they were burned in their own lusts, man. So, I mean, it, it, I, when I watched this video, guys, it, it did something to my spirit, man. I got so mad and like, but there's like, what could we do? You know, Satan's going to do what he does. And it's like, I just hope that these children... Um, we, you know, pray for these children, man, because they don't know any better. It's their parents that are putting them in that, you know, and no father in the household. You know, it's the age of single mothers. Uh, it's the age of the divorce rate over 70%. And there's no man in the household to tell the children the right way. And there, there are some fathers who are okay with that. So, um, man, we need Jesus, man. And these children need him too. So hope you guys saw this message. And if, if you guys, guys, this happens in your city, pull up, pull up, bro. We got to start holding people accountable. It's like this new age of Christianity is a joke. No one wants to speak up. No one wants to say anything. No one wants to be offensive. But even Jesus tells us that blesses the person who's not offended. Because when Christ was preaching when it's his ministry, he was offending people because that's what the truth does. But you got to be bold, man. Be bold as a line. I love you guys so much. Like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.